As growers of lisianthus, chrysanthemums and other flowering plants, L.F. Geeter and Sons in Leiston in Suffolk have been producing high quality cut flowers for the wholesale market for three generations. With a glasshouse area of 1.6 hectares, requiring 220 kilowatt hours of heat per square meter, fuel input demand is approximately 4.5 million kilowatt hours, so energy costs have always been a major consideration. We were burning natural gas and the, the price suddenly jumped up by an enormous amount. Uh, the economics were looking totally dire and we just looked around for an alternative. Uh, we realised there's a lot of straw in this area, being the uh, probably the most productive area for cereals in the country, and uh, we decided to have a look at that as a possibility. It has a good calorific value and it's readily available, and in Mr Geeter's case, it is quite literally on his doorstep. In early 2007, Mr Geeter installed a 1.2 megawatt linker straw boiler. A portal frame building of 750 square metres was purpose-built to house the boiler and feed system, as well as providing dry storage for the fuel. Keeping that straw, that raw material, dry is of paramount importance. If the straw is damp, it will not generate sufficient heat, his boiler will not run uh, efficiently. The wheat or rape straw is delivered as 550 kilogram Heston bales, which each contain roughly 2,250 kilowatt hours of energy. These are directly harvested from the neighboring area, and the store contains enough fuel for three to four months' operation. The bales are loaded onto a conveyor belt, which can hold up to 15 at once. This is equivalent to 18 hours' worth of fuel in peak heating season. The bales move along the belt to the feeder, where the straw is shredded. It's then blown pneumatically through a cyclone system to the rear of the boiler, where it's carried by an auger directly into the combustion chamber, where it's burned. The heated water is pumped to a 140 cubic metre thermal storage tank, from where it's distributed to the glass houses. The thermal store is used to help manage the demands for heat on the biomass boiler, as this works more efficiently when operating continuously at or near its maximum capacity. The thermal store not only smooths out peaks and troughs in the daily heat demand, it also enables the size, and therefore cost, of the biomass boiler to be kept much smaller than would otherwise be possible. The boiler itself is, is sized to about half the, heat, the maximum heating demand of the nursery, so during the day when the heat's not required, heat stored in the storage tank and then used on an evening where the boiler heater and the tank heater is combined. Combustion of the straw generates ash. However, due to the efficiency of the system, this is a relatively small amount and it's automatically removed. Uh, Mr Geeter gets something like a box of that ash material per week out of this boiler. That's all and it can then spread that back on the land so he's returning a bit of uh, nutrients back to the soil. A system such as this, and we're looking at uh, a 1.2 megawatt boiler, is going to cost in the region of, currently, about £375,000. That includes the boiler, the conveyor, the shredder, the installation of the system, and the cost of that shouldn't be overlooked of course, and a considerable heat store as well. It's not the sort of thing you go into on a short-term basis. Economically, yes, it's a good thing from the uh, heating point of view. There's no doubt about that. If we were still on uh, natural gas now, we would be paying two and a half times as much money per year as we are now. At current prices, Mr Geeter will have recovered his costs within approximately six years. When you look at the cost of straw and even the cost of an installation such as this, it's very, very competitive alongside oil or gas, which will be the two principal fuel sources for a nursery of this type. And of course, the price of oil and gas is just skyrocketing all the time. Uh, it's making biomass equipment, biomass boilers, biomass heating systems ever more cost effective.